Good evening. I know it's not normal for me to put out a video on Saturday night. However, it is no longer Shabbat. This headline just came out a little bit ago on RT. And I don't want this, this to get missed because I no longer catch up the news on Sunday nights. So this would otherwise get missed. And I think it's pretty significant. I think it's pretty telling. And there are individuals that are hell-bent on going to war with Russia and it appears to me that they're pushing full steam ahead in order to get things ready so this is what's coming out of RT Germans expected to make their own bomb shelters says Bill let me throw my glasses on said Germans will be expected to turn their homes into bomb shelters in case a major war breaks out in Europe, newspaper Bild reported on Saturday, citing a draft document from the country's defense ministry. According to the report, the ministry is set to complete the work on the classified operational plan, or op plan, by April. Sounds like a April Fool's thing. Uh, the draft envisions Germany as a transit country crucial for the delivery of weapons and equipment rather than a state with an active front line for that reason soldiers would be tasked with securing key highways railway stations and ports build said <clears throat> now if you've been following along you know that they've already been putting in place measures so that they can more easily move that equipment those people through you know border to border that way they wouldn't have to go through a bunch of the you know bureaucratic red tape bs they just more or less wave them on through they've already been working on putting that in place uh, the article goes on to say at the same time the state would have to rely on civilians to step in and cover some duties typically assigned to the military and police including the protection of power plants so they're expecting the citizen, citizens to uh, protect the power plants, as an example. Kind of crazy. Says there are only 579 functional bomb shelters in Germany, so the plan reportedly sees citizens setting up their own shelters in places such as basements and garages. Bill quoted that the head of the Federal Office of Civil Protection and Disaster Assistance Ralph Teasler as saying that the building new shelters is no longer feasible due to time constraints. So they don't seem to be thinking it's far on the horizon either. Said Germany had been looking for ways to boost its army, citing the threats stemming from the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. The government set the goal of increasing the size of the Bundeswehr from 183,000 soldiers to 203,000 soldiers by 2031. <coughs> Defense Minister Boris Pistorius stated this month that Russia could attack a NATO country within five to eight years. Now, from the way they're talking, they're thinking quicker than that. He later somewhat adjusted his assessment, telling Bill on Friday, at the moment, I don't see any danger of a Russian attack on NATO territory or, or on any NATO partner country. Russia has repeatedly accused NATO of fear-mongering and stoking tensions in Europe. The head of Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, Sergei Nerishkin, Sergei Nerishkin, recently dismissed the claims that Moscow is planning to attack on, uh, planning an attack on NATO as informational warfare. And I, I believe that that's correct. I think that, uh, I think largely they're doing a lot of fear-mongering, scare-mongering, trying to build up support. And uh, I don't think it's very successful. That's a good thing. But uh, it's not going to stop them. The most that we can do is just slow them down a little bit. Not going to stop them. They're going to get their plan. They're going to get their war. You can bet that. What we need to do, that is those here in the United States, those with a preparedness mindset, is we need to be listening to this stuff and to the best of our ability, be doing it. <laughs> if you can put in a bomb shelter, it's never been a bad idea, especially if you live in the Midwest or even now the southern states with all the tornadoes hitting down the southern states now. 
Yeah, you know, a combination bomb shelter, tornado shelter would not be a bad idea. Um, but of course, there are many of you out there like us that rent. That's not a possibility then. Uh, and many others out there that just simply can't afford it. Do what you can do. Make sure you get as much food and supplies secured as what you can. That, that's, that's all that we can do. Other than that, make sure that, that your heart's right with the Father and uh, just keep a close eye on things. I think that whatever it is that's going to happen is, is pretty imminent. Uh, they're not going to say that because they don't want you too scared. They want you scared just to a certain level. If you're, if you're too scared, you're useless to them. And if you're not scared at all, you're useless to them. So they're going to use everything, every bit of this to their advantage. You know, they're going to use a war to bring out the digital currency. They're going to use the war to bring out all kinds of new restrictions and laws. And that's why I don't necessarily think that it's all organic, that it's all genuine. I think that there are countries working together to bring the citizens, the civilians of multiple different countries to their knees so that they beg for their new system that they offer to save us all. And you know how the story goes from there. But right now, all we can do is protect for today and tomorrow. And what can we do there? Put back more food and supplies. Make sure you're talking to people around you. Don't be listening to these YouTube prepper channels when they tell you to hole up in a cave with a box of crackers because that's not feasible, it's not sustainable, and it doesn't have any bit of common sense associated with it. Because what's going to happen, it's going to be like going to college, right? You go to college, you spend however many years there, two, four, six, God forbid, eight years in college, and they tell you how everything's going to be. And then you get out, and you find out that it ain't nothing like they taught you in college. And you find out that the companies aren't interested in you doing it the way that you were taught. They're interested in you doing it the way they want you to, which in many cases is far from what you're taught. So you learn after all that education, all that time and money spent, that really didn't help you out a whole lot, right? Well, that's the feeling that a lot of the folks that listen to these prepper channels are going to have whenever they realize that, oh, crap, this rolls out a lot slower than what I thought. And, uh, wow, you know, and people are, are going around and doing their everyday things because it's not going to be Mad Max overnight. That's that's my biggest concern. Those people that are out there that are hungry, that are that are trying to learn, those that are wanting to learn preparedness and what route is the best route to go, and everybody's telling them, oh, you want to hide it at all costs. You want to hoard everything and hide at all costs. That's stupid. It's unrealistic, and it takes zero common sense to come up with that kind of nonsense. It's not going to be Mad Max overnight. And there's going to be plenty of opportunity for someone that has set them up in a position to be an asset. And you can't do that by not learning anything. That's why hammer this stuff down. There is no cheating on this test. There is no cheating on this test. You either... Learn ways to be an asset or you just bow down and do what others want you to do. I mean, those are your choices. You can either become a leader or be forced to follow. That choice is up to you. But if you're trying to hoard everything and hide away with your box of crackers, not going to work out so well. But these channels can't tell you about that because they get their their prepping tips from Holly Weird. It is what it is. Sorry, not sorry. Shalom.